What is up, Madden 25 gamers? Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be discussing how to stop the strong power in Madden 25. And in today's video, uh, we're going to be talking about run defense the next couple of days in our featured video of the day. But today's run defense is for the strong power. Uh, one of the things, if we've learned anything about Madden 25, it is that uh, different running sets and formations require different running defenses in the sense that you cannot use just one defense. Uh, it's not one size fits all as far as run defense this year. Uh, obviously the inverted cover two that we've broken down numerous times does uh, give you some kind of basic fundamentals of run defense, but as far as the more advanced stuff, we have it for you here in today's video. So uh, the strong power run defense, we're using the 3-4 defensive playbook and the uh, real quickly, guys, what you want to do is you want to have your strongest um, outside linebackers at outside linebackers. So for the Browns, we have um, we have Desmond Bryant and then Phil Kruger on the outside. And on the inside, we're going to have Phil Taylor and uh, I to be Ruben. Those are our four strongest guys. And then in the middle line, uh, middle linebacker, we want to have guys that pursue really good. So we're going to have Bacavius Mingo and uh, Dequel Jackson. On our corners, this is important. We want to make sure that our corners are safeties. Uh, so for the Browns, we like to put T.J. Ward in there, and then we also like to put, uh, if I can find my guy here, uh, Jay Slaughter. I think it's Janoris Slaughter. Uh, and that free safety and strong safety, we like to put uh, on the left side safety. We like to put our best covering player, so that's Joe Hayden. And then on the right side safety, we like to just put a guy that can pursue and tackle really well. And for the bra or the Browns, that's Poyer here. And then uh, at the slot corner position, again, we want to put another safety. Um, and so if you, as you guys could probably tell by now, uh, we're loading up our, our safety so that we can have more beef on the field. Um, and that's the first step in any run defense is having better personnel. Uh, but anyways, guys, we're going to talk about how to stop a strong power. And we're going to use the plays strong corner to fire and the play corner fire to roll. Okay, so first play we're going to be using is a strong corner to fire. This is when they're in this look right here. And what we want to do is we want to base align our defense. We want to pinch our defensive line. And this is going to make it look like our mid zone blitz that we talked about a couple of days ago. We want to then crash our defensive line down. And if this messes with the linebackers at all, I think I accidentally run commit. But uh, anyway, let's just put some random zones here because um, I don't remember the exact zones of this play, but we want to pass commit uh, after we crash our line down. And you see here, we should be able to contain that run off that right edge. As you see, if Frank Gore doesn't break that tackle, uh, we do pretty well. And I'm trying to find run defenses without uh, having, without you guys having to have an elite user skill to, to do it. Um, another, another situation you can do here is maybe place this strong safety on the left side in a flat zone. And uh, by doing that, we're going to have him a little bit better of a pursuit angle outside to kind of contain the edge. And there you see exactly an example of the shutdown run defense this provides uh, for the strong power. Now, another thing uh, that we like to do that you could potentially do if you want to is take Mingo and put him into a deep zone. And then, uh, obviously, we want to pass commit still, so we have that pursuit. And you're just going to run through the A gap and try to try to muddy it up in the backfield. As you see there, uh, we were actually pretty successful. Uh, but again, I don't like to use this tactic because it is a little bit over aggressive. Uh, in the essence that if they maybe run it to the left here, you're going to see that they sh there's going to be nobody at home, and you see that Frank Gore is going to be able to break off another long run. So that's why for the overall balance of the play, I like to just leave it. Uh, I like to maybe put Mingo over here. I'll maybe put him into a, a curl to flat zone to the left side so that he's flowing out there just in case they run that strong power to the left. And they have a, we have just a little bit better pursuit. Uh, obviously, if they choose to run the strong power to the left, though, we want to be using our corner fire to roll blitz. Um, and so our corner fire to roll, we're going to use the same setup. We're going to base the line, pinch our defensive line, and we're going to crash our line down. And uh, you want to run the blitz to the side that they're typically going to be running it off of. of. So if you're base aligned, typically that would be the unbase aligned side. So uh, here, let's flip that back over. And what a lot of times you'll see them do is you'll see them just flip it and they'll do a little butt tap playmaker to the left side. And so here again, all we want to do is we want to pinch our defensive line, crash our defensive line down, and then pass commit. And we should have pretty stout run defense off that left edge. And as you see, we get the left edge contained and we meet Frank Gore in the backfield. You see how that kind of method works. Now, what about a method that's good uh, if you don't know what side they're running to? 
uh, well, if you don't know what side they're running to, uh, I would recommend using the strong corner to fire because you get the flat zone on the left side here. And we still want to pitch our line, but now we're going to crash them out uh, so that they're flowing to the outside. We're going to place Bacchivius Mingo here into a curl to flat zone. And we're going to bring Joe Hayden in the middle and play center field with him. He's going to be our user player. And as you'll see here, if they run to the left, we're going to be, again, user controlling Hayden. And it's a little bit hard to show you here, but you see we can still have a little bit of a shot at getting it. Um, now, one thing also with the strong corner to fire is you, you really want your linebackers here on the outside to kind of keep an edge. And so that's why we say to put our biggest guys over here now. For the sake of the video and showing you what would happen if I was using Hayden, I'm going to place him on the purple zone. Uh, just to show you him flowing out there and you see how he's going to get out there and you can potentially make a tackle with him again it's really hard to show you the user of this but it's just basic concepts but again if you if you pick the right side with your corner roll blitz um, it shouldn't really matter and remember pass community is essential uh, because we want to keep that we want our players to flow out more uh, as you can see here so um, that's kind of the key uh, of, the, of run defense this year, which is kind of ironic because we've been saying all year you don't want to pass commit, uh, but as we're closing, we're seeing that just a little you get a little bit better of a run defense when you pass commit because they and, and, and another part of the the run defense in this year's game is flow coverage. You have to have flow coverage, and when you have good flow coverage, for example, like this play three over low buzz, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to crash our line out. We're going to try to contain the edge, and we're going to say, you know, just beat me numbers-wise. So we're going to force them to run to the right. You see that we have a little bit better pursuit, and we can still hold it down to about a five-yard gain instead of that massive, you know, overhaul. But then when we really want to shut it down, we can check down into this strong corner roll. We can pass commit, and you see that we should get that stout run defense off that right edge. Frank Gore made a really wicked cut there, but you see the uh, that we had guys in position. So if you like this series, uh, leave a like rating. If there's anything that was unclear uh, or something that you need a little bit more elaboration on as far as stopping the Pistol Trip strong power defense, uh, please let me know in the comments. Other than that, guys, be sure to come back tomorrow for our run defense for inside runs when we're facing like inside zone and stuff like that. So uh, be sure to check that stuff out, and we'll see you guys later.